hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel so i'm really excited for today's video i'm just gonna be telling y'all all the books that i want to read in october i have a pretty ambitious tbr i know that i am not going to get through all of these but i feel like really these are just the books that are on the top of my tbr for october it's spooky season there are some books that i really want to read for those there's some videos that I really want to start in October so we're gonna see how this goes but let's just get straight into talking about the books that I would like to read in the month of October so the first ones that I'm going to show y'all are the ones that I'm currently in the middle of some of these are for videos some of these I'm just reading so the priority of each of these is kind of like different these are not all at the top um, some of them are like the ones that are for videos are but yeah so i am currently reading gideon the ninth by tamsin Mir, Mir, i think um and this one i'm 123 pages into and this one i am doing for a video i put it down i think i started this one at the beginning of september and i want to get back to this video um luckily like this is the only book that i'm reading for that video so i can finish it whenever i want but i would like to i do feel like this one would be perfect for october this cover gives October vibes, so I would like to get back to it this month, but we'll see. We're gonna see how it goes. I'm also rereading Throne of Glass, and I am in the middle of this. This one, not a priority. Um, I want, to, I like, I want to make progress in it, but I don't know. We're gonna see how it goes. I'm 192 pages into this one. I do feel like I could finish this really quickly, so I've really just been picking this up when I feel like reading it or if I am kind of in the mood to read something that I don't have to pay a lot of attention to, but I just kind of want to read and, I don't know, just kind of enjoy my time. This is kind of what I've been picking up, but I really do need to continue on with this and just like get going, but I don't think it's going to be a October thing. I feel like it's probably going to be next month, but I am reading it. I'm also reading Red Rising by Pierce Brown, another one that I would like to finish. I am halfway through this one. I'm on page 174. So I'm a decent way into this one. Um, this one I started during a 24 hour readathon that I was doing with one of my friends and I got through half of it and I just put it down because I was getting so tired and I couldn't pay attention to it and I didn't know what was going on anymore so I put it down and I just haven't picked it back up yet and I think it's just because I haven't been in the mood for sci-fi but I was liking it but I want to get back to it I just don't know when I'm going to get back to this one but I'm not doing like I'm not reading this for a video or anything so it's just kind of been sitting there <laughs> uh staring at me I'm also reading Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff. This one is for a video, so I do need to finish this one. I am currently 255 pages into this one, um, and this one is definitely at the top of my list. Like, this is currently ongoing. Um, this is gonna be the first book I finish in October, probably. This video will be out before this vlog is out, but it, it is coming later in the month of October. Y'all will see me read this. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about that one. I am currently really enjoying it, so. I tried to keep this as condensed as possible but it's just kind of hard because there are kind of two types of books that I really want to be reading in October and I want to read fantasy because it's fall and then I want to read thrillers because it's October and it's spooky season and especially with Halloween right around the corner like I definitely want to be reading those so I kind of have like two stacks and I picked four for each just so that I could kind of read whatever I want. I really want to do a thriller vlog at some point this month, but I don't know. We're gonna we're just gonna see. We're gonna see how this month goes and what I decide to pick up. Um, but let's start with the thrillers because that's a fun stack. Um, so the first one I would like to read is Ace of Spades, and this is a YA thriller that I picked up. I think over the summer. I think this one got really good reviews. I haven't heard much about it on like YouTube, but maybe it kind of took off on TikTok or Instagram. I'm not on any of those, so I don't know. So definitely one I want to read in October. And then I really want to read The Grace Year by Kim Liggett. This is one I, I did hear about on YouTube and I don't remember who, I don't 
can't remember who I saw read this one. Um, I think there was a couple people who were reading this one over the summer and I picked it up and I was saving it for spooky season and spooky season is now here. And then I also have The Writing Retreat by Julia Bartz. This was one that I bought quite a while ago and again it was one that I was saving. I don't remember what this one is about. I know it deals with writers and obviously from the name but yeah so I do want to get to this one. Also it's nice and short which I feel like will be nice to get through really quickly. And the one that I most want to get to, like if I don't get to any of the others, that's totally fine if I can get to this one. And that is The Only One Left by Rowdy Sager. This one came out, I think, at the beginning of the summer and I like immediately bought it. I just haven't been able to get to it. And I was like, it's fine. I'm going to save it for October. And so this is the one that I want to read the absolute most. And if I don't get to any of the others, it's totally fine if I can at least read this one. Um, I've heard mixed things. I feel like I always hear mixed things about Riley Sager's books. I feel like for me, whenever I read a mystery thriller, just because I read them so spaced out when I don't read a lot of them, I'm always blown away by mystery thrillers. And they're just so fun for me to read whenever I pick them up. So those are the mystery thrillers that are on my TBR for October. So now let's get into the fantasy. Um, I have... I actually have more fantasy than that, um, which is not surprising, but I'll show you why in a minute. It'll make sense in a minute. So the first one is one that I've been meaning to read forever. It's one of the most hyped books this year and I still haven't read it and I want to read it very soon and that is Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. I am considering reading this and doing a vlog just on this. I think it's always nice to be able to find <laughs> videos where I can just do one book and be like one and done type thing. And I think this would be a fun one to do just because it was so hyped and I'm curious what I'm going to think about it. Um, because I do read a lot of fantasy and I'm pretty critical of fantasy and I feel like I've heard such polarizing reviews of this like either people love it or people hate it and I'm really curious where I'm gonna land in that lineup. But yeah, this I really wanna read just because I've been meaning to for so long. So it's really, <laughs> really time. Um, the next one I wanna read is Bonesmith by Nikki Palpredo. This is one that I've been really excited about. I believe it deals with necromancy. Um, yeah, it deals with like undead. So I feel like perfect. It's perfect for this season and it's one that I've been meaning to get to. Uh, I just haven't had the chance to pick it up. Like all of these books, I just haven't had the chance to pick up. Um, then One Dark Window by Rachel Gillig. And this is one that I actually heard of from my friend last year. Um, she read it last year and I, from what I remember, I think she enjoyed it. And now this one is kind of coming back up on the YouTube and more people are reading about it and it's becoming a little bit more hyped. So now that I'm just hearing more about it, I went out and I got it and now it's time for me to read it. But sounds like it's a good vibe for fall spooky season. So this one immediately went on my October TBR. And then another one that I want to read is God Killer by Hannah Kaner. Kaner. Um, this is one that I think I saw in like an email or something like it, it was either like a Barnes and Noble email or a Goodreads email where authors tell you books that they're most excited about. And I think the one that I got was Samantha Shannon and she was talking about this book. Um, yeah, Samantha Shannon, Samantha Shannon blurb it at the bottom. So, um, and also it's short. I don't think I read a fantasy this short in a very long time. So I'm really interested to see how this one goes. So the last most ambitious thing on my TBR. Um, I really want to get to this because it, yeah, there's, there's a timeline attached to reading these and I want to get to them so bad. And I'm hoping that I can make time for them this month. I feel like out of all of these books, this is probably one of the biggest priorities. Um, but we're going to kind of see how it, we're going to see how it goes, but that is the entire inheritance cycle by Christopher Paolini. Um, this is a reread for me. I love Aragon. It's definitely one of my favorite series 
and I really want to do a reread because I've only reread Aragon. I've reread Aragon so many times. It's one of my favorite books of all time. I have reread this thing like five or six times and I love it every single time but I've never reread the rest of the series. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm actually going to be doing it for a video. Um, and I'm doing this because Murtag comes out in November, which is a extension to this world and to the series. The last book in the series came out in 2011, I think. Yeah, I think it was 2011. And we... I feel like we've all been asking for Christopher Bellini to write in this world again and I'm so excited that he's going to. I, I cannot wait. It's probably one of my most anticipated books of the decade and I didn't even know that we were going to get it like I was hoping because this is one of my favorite worlds and I'm so excited that it's like almost here and I still haven't started my reread. So I really need to get on this very very soon. Um, I'm really curious to see how the read on these three are gonna go because this is one of the, this was the first high fantasy series I ever read and it was before I got into high fantasy. So I wasn't really into high fantasy whenever I read these and I still loved them but I'm curious now that I am such a big fantasy reader how I'm gonna feel going into these and I don't really remember a lot about the other three um, because I haven't reread them. So I'm, I'm really excited. I'm really excited to read these. I've been wanting to do it for years. I just, uh, I really didn't have a reason and now I have such a big reason and I'm so excited. So yeah, though we're gonna see how that one goes. But like I said, I'm gonna be doing a rereading vlog on these and I'm so excited. So y'all will see that probably sometime in November is my goal just because Murtag is coming out in November and I would like for this video to be up around then but we'll see because it's October 1st right now and I haven't started the reread um so yeah we're gonna see how that goes so those are the books that I have currently on my October TBR will I stick to it I have no idea like there are some books that are in this pile that I'm for sure reading and I know that and then there are others that I just want to read and I'm hoping that I can get to and make time for them. So we're gonna see how October goes. I'm hoping it goes well because I am in such a big reading mood. I just need to stay focused. <laughs> stay focused. I need to stay focused and um, be better about time management honestly. So I would really like to know what's on y'all's October TBR. Let me know. Let me know if you're reading fantasy, if you're reading mystery thriller, any recommendations that you have for the fall and winter seasons because winter's coming up soon as well. It's going to be here before we know it. Let me know what you're reading down below in the comments. If you would like to see more videos like this, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, hit that like button. It really helps out my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.